See, that's a good intro, right? We just hear that. Okay. What's up, Nibbles? Got Athnar here in the fucking house. We're in the goddamn metal crib. Picture this on the wall. We even got some fucking Celtic Frost with Tom G over there, so we know we're giving some Tom G love, goddammit. And uh, Gravedigger in the background, which I was against, so we're not going to be able to hear each other fucking talk. <laughs> But as long as as long as we know grave diggers in the background, that's Athnar important. Said no digger, no go. That's so right. So if, if the audio is fucked up, you got him to fucking blame. I'm used to it. So, anywho, yeah, we're down in the uh, Athnar's cribs just to hear the shoot the fucking shit, talk shit, talk shop, and see what uh see what else is uh stirring. Anything to throw out there, Athnar? Soon. Just listen to grave digger. That's why I thought we came down here. We just have a 35 minute grave digger listening party. Yeah, since you said that, my pose are after. He's like. We're talking about don't know Grave Digger? It's like, fucking, it's like running wall, goddammit. I was like, first off, I heard it. I just remember liking only a couple of tracks. I know. Well, yeah. you can you can poserize me to hell and back for no CC. Yeah, and no, look, so. at the, look at this collection behind me. I, I looked at the C section. No cannibal in sight, goddammit. I said there's not a there's not a C collection without cannibal. I got, I, got, I got can, canned heat, can, uh, <laughs> candle mass, but no, uh, no cannibal corpse. Yeah, yeah. Hey, just heard them last year for the first time ever. Checked them out. Yeah, Checked I mean, them out. Thought it sucked yeah, balls. Yeah. And, uh, I wouldn't say it sucked balls, but it wasn't worth buying. It wasn't worth buying. It wasn't Grave Digger good. It wasn't, it wasn't Euthanasia good or, or uh, Cryptic Writings good, I guess. Well, so with that being said, actually, a question I've actually never asked you, get an opinion of gets uh, kind of gets you a little bit inside of a person's personality, in my opinion, is uh, what would you say then is the greatest death metal record of all time? Not demo, not. What's the politically correct answer? What do you think is the greatest death metal record of all time based on what you like, but also that kind of inspired the scene? Like if you ask some fucking 19-year-old, he might say something stupid like, regurgitation. It's like, well, yeah. dude, that's not the greatest one ever. I mean, maybe that should be. I mean, that's kind of a dumb answer. I mean, that's a, regurgitation so like, is a good physical thing to do, but I don't know. <laughs> so what would you consider the greatest death metal record at all, but it's something that you really like, but also something that would be kind of acceptable well, to say as far as the scene. And, well and also from what death metal is is known as now right it's uh i mean you could say just like people would say oh the best black metal album is venom black metal but it's I not no say that because i don't even consider metal but, because, yeah exactly my, that's that's my point so you can say oh well, let it, me premise it here's and i said it on this channel so they know and then for all the fucking posers that have seen it go back and watch all the previous goddamn episodes god damn it is there's first generation death metal which is yeah. like Death, Possessed, uh, Massacre, Morbid Angel, Obituary, Second Generation Death Metals like Deicide, Cannibal Corpse, Suffocation, Immolation, Mortician, Sinister, something like that. Third Generation Death Metal is kind of like stuff like Deed to Flesh, Dying Fetus, Devourment, yeah. stuff like that. And then Fourth Generation is kind of where I fell off. So well, with that being said, there's just kind of just different tiers. Well, that's why I said, yeah. Any of those yeah. would count, you know what I mean? So if you said Scream Bloody Gore, I think that's an acceptable pick. Well, that, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, there wasn't as many rules to go by as, you know, like... I, I say, the thing is, people say, I don't think they're rules. I think they're just... Well, it, it is. It's it's more rules, and, and things are more so ca uh, uh, insanely categorized now as opposed to everybody's going to go back to when they're a kid, no matter what year it is. You know, it, whatever music you were listening to when you were 13 was important, no, ma no matter what it is, you know? Yeah. So for me, at 13, it, it wasn't so, like... It wasn't like, oh, Bathory is black metal. And and uh, and uh, um, Sacred Reich is cheesy thrash metal. It was like all just fast and aggressive shit, you know. And um, yeah, that, that's, that's why I like it. There wasn't so many subgenres yet. Because it right, was still, it, that's that's it what I'm saying. Its, uh, the, infancy, so. That's what I'm saying. Subgenres, aka rules, you know. As so you to, still didn't throw out the best greatest death metal of all time. Well, that's what that's what I was getting at. <laughs> so if you're if you're gonna say best death metal album. I mean I don't know you know for what modern for, you, for, for, you. No, for, you, for right? what modern day death metal is, is, no, no, is no, for me it would be it would be possessed seven churches okay. I mean why I think I like to ask somebody because I think that. Jeff Becerra's vocals is what made that really special I mean sure there was Slayer and other bands that were fast and heavy but Becerra's vocals were so over the top and and uh so for me that's that's my personal favorite uh, of death metal and not just because they have a song called Death Metal either. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's, that, that's not saying. I consider that uh, the uh, first death metal record of all time. As a matter of fact, I had some, maybe about three, four years ago, some kid uh, at my gym going to me. I was wearing because that's Seven Churches. And he's talking about music, asking about music and shit like that, talking about how he's in the metal, stuff like that. And I just say, yeah, so you like, like Possessed? 
never heard of those guys. Yeah, that's I'm like, what I'm oh, saying. dude, I mean, if you never heard, like, come on, man. I was like, yeah, I mean, then you're a total newbie. Now he's like, no, I need to check those guys out. Damn right, you need to check them out. Yeah, I was like, and, I was and like, uh, it's literally where probably it won't. Started. He probably won't. Uh, so no, I consider that the first death metal LP of all time. Yeah, I've always said that. But if you're if you're talking about like maybe what is more considered the down tuned, more modern style death metal. I would go with Severed Survival, Autopsy. I mean, okay, I, I, that's good you know, I, 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 that one is. After that, uh, I thought it was Snooze Fest Central, personally. See, I, 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 Mental Funeral, I love. Oh, I know, uh, I like, in, like, the, in the Grip of Winter is fucking great. The EP is. is I liked, uh, like two songs off Mental Funeral, one off Acts of the Unlistenable, and then none off uh, Shit Fun, and the Comeback album, Maccabi Eternal. I remember like, like three songs on that. So they have some songs here, but a lot of it I just thought was very, very They're too doomy for me. I thought it was boring. But well, Severed Survival, actually, yeah, that's, that, that's actually. That's one of my favorite. Well, they, they stuck to their like lo-fi production, what it should be, not what you know, like a lot of death metal. It, it got that's why I was just telling El Cat there. Just it was it's it started to get too rigid and precise and 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 overproduced and and, and modern sounding. Autopsy, then even 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 at Mental Funeral, at what it come out ninety one I think that album ninety one or ninety two yeah that's yeah. still. It was still underproduced for 1991. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at 91, you had Blessed Are the Sick, and they were spending huge amounts of money on making that fucking record. Well, you were there at the time. Like, you- uh, at Autopsy, it sounded like it was recorded in a garage. Would, it fucking ruled. With that being said, would you say when Mental Funeral shit came out, all the fucking posers <laughs> were fucking, uh, didn't like them at the time? Uh, as far as popular bands, as opposed to now, everybody's riding their dick. I, I, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, Say that again, just like in a, in, a, in one quick sentence. Oh, all the fucking po- <laughs> a quick sentence. <laughs> Those fuckers we talk about a lot on this goddamn channel. People get thrown on the bus, guys, and big bands too. Sometimes they get thrown under. Twenty twenty three, I'm gonna be throwing more canoes under that bus. But too, the, the buses ride high, so there's a lot of room. Well, a lot but anyway, what, there's what, a lot of canoes to throw under. What, what are you What are you saying then? What's What's the question about autopsy? Oh, back in like ninety one, a lot of the. Uh, they were much less followed than they are now. Everybody kind of jumped on the train much later. Like, oh, I thought, oh yeah. I thought, I thought, back then, I thought, you like I thought, I Yeah, I yeah. Like, I, I, granted, I wasn't around 91. I wouldn't say. I was, I was it, 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 people didn't say it sucks because it didn't. But there it, there wasn't a huge fan base as there say it, it is now. Because now, for example, like kind of like when I say on my channel, I don't like Metal Funeral. I get the looks like, what the fuck's this bozo talking about? Yeah. As opposed to 91, it's just like, oh, yeah, Universal. Oh, don't like it, no problem. That's the vibe I get. Yeah. Well, is that but, is that accurate or inaccurate? You should. You well, well, no. Were there. The, well, the the like I said, there just wasn't. If you liked autopsy, you liked mental funeral. Except for I don't know Big D. Maybe I don't know, but uh, yeah, Big D definitely don't like it. No way, Jose. <coughs> but, he barely likes Severed Survival. Well, that that's what I'm saying. But I'm in general. So if you did like Severed Survival, fucking mental funeral. It was it was. I, thought, I did I like Severed Survival, but I didn't like Mental Funeral. But you didn't like Mental Funeral. In in ninety one is what I'm saying, you know, well, like six years old. Well, well that was your I was question. With those E-Man toys up there. And it, but, that, but, I, but that was your question you asked me. But, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. So and, and that's well, what I'm saying. I guess saying. a better way to put it in 1991, 1992, if autopsy played the shitty ass land, this fucking city that I can't stand. Uh, how many people do you think would have been? There? I was there. They put, the first yeah, time they played there. Cleveland, it was Flashes, I think, in ninety three. Yeah, how, how many people were there? Not many. Exactly. That's my point. Yeah. You know, there now there'd be at least two hundred, right? Probably two hundred at least. Yeah, back then it was flat. Flashes was a big club, <clears throat> held probably about five hundred. Maybe there was fifty. I don't know. Maybe maybe a, maybe a hundred. So I don't remember, know. You remember Mortician ninety nine? You were there. So yeah. Zach Attack Home. Yeah. Well, what, wasn't it crickets there? Yeah. Mortician. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. Total crickets, yeah. right? Yeah. I said, correct me if I'm wrong. I said on this uh, channel before, giving the attendance. I said counting the goddamn bartender, the hot chick at the door, Mitch the Dick. And the goddamn janitor and everybody fucking there, including my brothers, you, Zach, and the bands. There was maybe thirty goddamn fucking people there in totality. Is that number accurate, or was I am I exaggerating? Yeah, no, no. That could, but I mean, but that was that's normal, and that's even that's kind of like in the lean days of heavy metal. That was what nineteen ninety nine or whatever the fuck. Or, so I mean, <clears throat> that's those are the lean years. I mean, um, but I was saying, so when Morticia just played here in Cleveland just in September. Packed to the gills. Sold out. Oh, that's great. I mean, it's great for the yeah, I like no, it. That's... I think it's a good thing. I just think it's fucking funny. It's like just you never almost like back then you wouldn't have like never been able to predict that. <clears throat> as opposed to like even you know being as uh hell's headbangers of business, you gotta talk like, yeah, what do you think the metal scene's gonna be in X amount of years? It's like I, it's only fucking growing in popularity. Yeah. So I got a water. I guess my voice is too goddamn scruffy. <clears throat>
Sorry. Too many, too many of those uh, Christmas a holes. But two is too many. Oh yeah, that is party for half now. Yeah, two is yeah, that's a party, right? No, I, if two is definitely a party. But um, I mean, it's just like anything. I mean, everything's gonna have its ups and downs, and just because you didn't like Mortician in '99, or, if, or you know, great if, if people like them now, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's good that if there was if there was a small amount of people to see Autopsy in 91 or 93 or whenever they played Cleveland now there'd be 200 good for autopsy you know that you know I'd much rather oh, yeah, have definitely good for them, I agree. much rather have 200 pe people see autopsy than 200 people going to see Justin Bieber or whatever the fuck yeah. or you know like oh, you know 200,000 <laughs> well what, whatever it is you know it's yeah, like yeah. at least autopsy or, or there are people who want to see autopsy and uh and and we shouldn't. We didn't just say, "Oh, you're you're a fucking homo because you didn't you didn't like him in '91 or you yeah, wouldn't have been there." Dude, I feel like I'm getting butt raped on the stool. This thing's killing my ass. What you don't like the the plug that I have that, that coming up on it? No, I don't. <laughs> you need a pillow? Don't need a pillow. I'll just rough yeah. it out, guys. Right, yeah, yeah, rough it out, man. You're well, clean. So speaking of shit, people don't but, like and stuff too. Yeah, uh, so that goes to prove my fucking theory. Those stinky ass fake '90s albums that Aftar can't stand. Uh, I think a lot of other people would like them. They wanted, would have wanted to hear those bangers on the tour. After that, I was like, that was a banger set list. No 90s, no problem. And I was like, that's, that's no go. I wanted to hear some <coughs> 90s, God damn it. Well, I don't, I, you know, that's, I again, that's. I should have gave you a, a, a little note putting the fake suggestion box. <laughs> that, again, that's opinion. But I, I, uh, I just, I'm just so, that, that the, the first, the first era of the band is just what did so much for me. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like, oh, they're a cool band. I have a thousand bands to listen to, and Merciful Fate's one of the cool bands. It was no, I had like six bands to listen to, and they were the best. Who do you, well, like, you, more? Know, Who do you like more, Judas Priest or Merciful Fate? Uh, Judas Priest. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. But I mean, what do you like more, Merciful Fate or Venom? Uh, probably Venom. Probably, oh, I go with Venom. Man, you know, it's pretty low on the total pole. Oh, with three. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know you like Black Sabbath more. Black Sabbath, but oh. but you know, Merciful Fate is definitely in my top twelve. I would say top twelve, okay. But I mean, uh, uh, you know, you're you know, you're talking stuff. At least for me, you know, you're, you know, your Black Sabbath, Kiss, Led Zeppelin, stuff like that, stuff that you hate, stuff that you're fucking bad. I like Black dad, I like your dad, your dad listens to Black Sabbath. Does it? Know, it's oh, it's no, no, it's just when the Tom Warriors come by, I'm like, I don't listen to holy shit. I like Black Sabbath, Judas Priest. Van Halen, Metallica. <laughs> it's like oh, okay, all the bands my dad likes. And my yeah. dad, if you ask my dad, do you like heavy shit? Nah, I don't like that headbang and shit. That screaming demons. That's yeah. his line. Tom's over here. Others oh, heavy shit. And then yeah. Like, okay, we're, 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 I'm, I'm still waiting. Where's the heavy bands at? That's all I'm saying. God damn it. Oh, this is the Wimp Fest song. I, I thought you were the Wimp Fest song. Yeah, this that is kind of wimpy. Yeah, you're next. But I mean, this. no, you never know. I mean, uh, Metal Church, God's Rock. That's a Wimp song. I like no, that. it's not a Wimp song at all. <laughs> that's probably one of the best songs ever. No, it's a good song, but I'm saying. It's yeah, it's it's the but it's not a wimp fest, but yeah, it is it is the more uh, so dramatic right? song. Uh -huh. You know, it has its peaks and valleys. Well, it's their uh, uh, yeah, those songs in the uh, Metallica albums. I know you yeah, Metallica fan. This is the guy too. He likes every Metallica album. I wouldn't say I, shitty load album. I wouldn't it's say I like it. I I I appreciate for what they did there, and I can. So when you picked in 1996, you picked it's, up it's that load. It's interesting. Of, when you picked up that load of crap album in 1996, we were where's your crown? Nothing. What were you thinking? I was bummed. Uh, I, yeah, I thought it stunk. Okay. Yeah. How many how many listens did you give it? Like like when you listen to it, you're probably like, eh, maybe it takes a few listens. Like how many times did you listen to it before you're like, ah, oh, this kind of sucks? No, I, I I thought it stunk right away. And okay. even even now, I mean, if you know the load and reloads, I never heard reload, but uh, if if I mean you can mix and match them, you I know whatever that's fuck I whatever. I mean, when I heard load, I'm like, there's no reason to listen to any passes. No, there's no reason. There's yeah. you know, I mean, for you, it'd be a waste of your whatever 74 minutes yeah. that it is oh, that's even. how long it is 74 minutes of double lp yeah they're both long as fuck man oh, it, yeah they, they're did really they come out on lp when it first came out in 1996? yeah there was yeah. a vinyl for it yeah metallica's always been did you pick up the vinyl no you... not at that time because i was gonna well, i was gonna waste it now? no oh you never owned up so you never owned load on vinyl ever no okay because in the 90s vinyl wasn't very popular no mm -mm. no i i uh there was there was some stuff that i had like 90s releases but for the most part no it wasn't wasn't buying like modern you know 90s it was i was i was digging backwards a lot in the 90s so i was getting like a lot of early 70s stuff and and uh 
stuff of that type yeah, at yeah. that time. Yeah, because you're going back. Like for me, like when I hit age 20, that's when I started. Age 20, it was either, no, I think that. Age 18, age 19, that's when I started buying Sabbath, Ozzy, uh, Priest, uh, Misfits at age 20. I went back too. Yeah. But because, yeah, in the early years, yeah, it was, it was Cannibal, Suffocation, Deicide, Mortician, mm. Vader, Corfest, Sinister, Christian, shit like that. And then, yeah, then I started to go, oh, it's all this earlier stuff. You know what I mean? Grant, I knew about it, of course. But that's when I started actually, like, it's like, I first heard Black Sabbath, but I heard Black Sabbath when I was like seven years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just never felt the need to own it. Right. And then, uh, that's when I started buying it. Even like Celtic Frost and shit. Like, I think I bought more of the Tales when I was 19 or 20. Mm. You know, that was a go back. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that would be it. Would be it would be a go back. I mean, what the hell? You're yeah, born some, in '85. Some, uh, '85. Yeah. There's yeah, some so. big things put out that uh, double disc Hellhammer demos. That that was fantastic. That was my first introduction to Hellhammer. Yeah. So all the shit part of that was kind of like out of print. You couldn't get it anyways. Around. Oh, that you couldn't time. get Apocalypse of Grades at at that time, or not really in the late or, '90s, early 2000s. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could on eBay. Right. But it wasn't in print. Oh, right. Yeah. It probably became in print again officially, Apocalypse of Grades. Because I know they. I was on back on black, and I think that was around 2000. Three, 2004. Well, they put out, uh, I don't know what, it was maybe mid 90s. They put out with that different cover, with that tan cover on CD at least. Oh, I do know what you're talking with about. With like yeah, a yeah, spider yeah. thingy, whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they gated it up big time. Yeah, they took away one of the best covers. Yeah, I mean, like, and, yeah. why would you change the cover? Yeah, right? like, same reason why they changed the cover of Bonded by Blood. Yeah. You know, yeah, like when they, when did, they yeah. did a reissue of that, and it's like, I mean, if it was a cover that was a horrifically bad cover. I can't think of something off the top of my head. There's, there's, there's exceptions. Like, what is a what's a classic album that has a terrible cover? Uh, it's not something like that. Oh, um, oh, this guy wouldn't know. I, but, uh, I, I got a, I got a. I don't know what that is. Great, great album. Terrible cover. Why is that a cover? Raven? It's just a couple of shapes. Well, this kind of looks like rock and roll, though. It could, it could look like disco, though. Yeah, yeah, it could. It could look like anything. When you picked this up, where did you buy this at? A record store? Record exchange. Record exchange? But was it years and years later, or was it in the 80s? 80s. Oh, was Probably, it in the 80s? Yeah. Record exchange was around in the 80s? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, I, that was first time, 80s then. First time I went there was uh, 80. The first thing I bought from record exchange was... Ingway Malmsteen marching out. Oh, okay. And it was 85. Oh, or... I didn't realize that. Yeah, I thought record change was kind of a 90s record change. Oh, fucking Grand Pierre Dog going to Ohio. Yeah, it is. Ohio, right? Yeah, well, no, I think there's a couple of Pennsylvania. They branched out to Pennsylvania. But, uh, yeah, that's a terrible album cover. Hey, Cameraman, you're going to need to hit stop. Let's fuck yeah. Cameraman, cameraman ran off, goddammit. <laughs> I don't know the stop button is on that goddamn thing. We keep videos around 20 minutes around here, goddammit. What's the time? Oh, yeah. We got to, we're going to we're gonna have to edit this or make it a three-parter or something. We're just... 18 minutes? We got to throw something in there after. Something funny, too, goddammit. I have nothing funny. Say we have a fucking, you got somebody throwing a bus. On that I'm, tour, there has to be somebody got to be throwing There's nobody throwing under a bus. I'm, I'm playing by all the rules, and I'm a, I'm a good person, and I, and I, and I, I love... No bus thrown? No, no, nobody on anything? No, nobody man. I, I, got, I got good karma coming to me, and I'm going to accept it. Nobody crying on tour? Nobody, no, nobody, nobody crying. crying. Nothing? Nobody crying. Not from, not from our band. All right. No crying? No, 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 no that going on. No, there's nothing but pure professionalism. All right. We got politically correct fucking ass. Right? I hope I'm going to get some fucking dirt. I got no goddamn I'm dirt. Like, goddamn. This ain't Maury Povich or whatever the fuck, show. <laughs> hey, people like to hear dirt, goddamn. I know. Yeah. Those are those are lowbrow people. Those are lowbrow people. What's that? You went to the bulldozer show. How was that? Oh, the bulldozer show was great. I was at bulldozer in Cleveland too with the Seaston. You were in it was, it was in Youngest Town, not Cleveland. Yeah, there, there was. I'll throw some people under the bus. There was probably less than hundred people at that I, goddamn poser fucking fest yeah. in this fucking the land. Where were they all at? Goddamn it! But it was Youngstown. Wow, so I made the drive. What's their excuse? I would have made the drive too. Right, that's what I'm saying. Where's everybody at? Because when you hear Cleveland, like people on the outside. They all say, like, oh, isn't that like King of Rock and Roll, man? Isn't yeah. that got a cool ass metal scene? I don't know, not based on the fucking, a lot of the, yeah. some shows, but I mean, a lot of them, like, that's kind of, a, I kind of, when I saw that, I'm kind of embarrassed from Bulldozer. I'm like, oh, man, what? Less than 100 people? Yeah. It's just a little bit, I don't know, I feel like oh, almost like I, an asshole. Can we, can we, here? I thought it was going to pick up. You got the crazy Thank you.
saying go on a trick check out fucking grave digger god damn it or you're a fucking poser ass fucking canoe <laughs> that needs to be thrown on the goddamn bus too and, did, you, and, did you did you get all your you got canoe in there got canoe in there you got, got poser, poser. got your tom you gotta, you gotta um, bring up tom all the time yeah oh, yeah we got support got every album we got support the scene yeah we support the, we support the scene support. i own them too god damn it um that 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 uh so i throw on a regularly I know. I'm yeah, you got goddamn it's motherfuckers out the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, was there? There was no mention of any pink panties. No pink panties. Tampon. Bowl That's because we're panties. too. No, we're too hetero. Too heterosexual to even yeah. have a, a pink panty. Pink panties need to come up. Doesn't I didn't even, see no. no pink panties in the fucking room. That's right. That's what, like the good old goddamn days. Nowadays, you just go to Walmart. You see them all over the fucking <laughs> place. That's it. Cut the, hit the goddamn camera. I'm tired of talking. Oh, goddamn it. 